All right. The Commonwealth Games at England in Birmingham have finished. India won 61 fucking medals. Bikram, can you believe it? I am reading 22 gold, 16 silver and 23 bronze. And we didn't even win a medal. Neither did you, neither did I, neither did your daughter. It is just a shame from us. But everybody else did very, very well. By the way, this is the yeah. this is India's biggest medal haul ever at CWG. Now, some people will be like, oh, these people are stupid. Because last time, just last time we won 66. <laughs> and before that, we won 64. And before that, in Delhi, we won 101. Now, 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 now. If I know the stats, that means I am prepared. We are prepared. Now, there were a lot of disciplines, which means a lot of sports, which were played in those tournaments, in those CWG games, which are not played right now. So, if you remove those games, if you know those medals right. in those archery, Greco wrestling, shooting, particularly we remove 49 medals from 2010. So, that the real medal count is 52. From 2004, exactly. Glasgow, 17 medals were won in disciplines that were not here in Birmingham, England. So, Actual medal count is 47 and in Gold Coast, the actual medal count is 50. So 61, this is our highest medal count of all time. Now, next time, who knows whether it will come back or not, but doesn't matter. And we're not going to talk about Commonwealth Games. Now we're talking about the big fish. Now, we have always been doing very well, at least from the last um, 20, 30 years, we were doing very well in Olympics. Sorry, Commonwealth Games. But now, what we want to talk about right now, can this actually graduate can this graduate into winning genuine medals at the olympics now this time the olympics are in paris this is 100 years after the last time the olympics were in paris which was in 1924 exactly 100 years later in 2024 it will happen again and by the way india were there in 1924 and i'll tell you the medal count i will need to take a calculator a very very big calculator to count how many medals we won let me check Bronze, zero. <laughs> Silver, zero. Wait for it. Gold, still zero. So, zero plus zero plus zero <laughs> is zero. It's zero, why is that zero? Yeah. Now, 100 years later, people might have thought like a lot of things have changed. But for the longest time, India did not win any medals. We were just winning either one medal in hockey for the longest time. Then we did not even win, stop winning in hockey also. And somehow we managed another medal in bronze. And then we went, we hit our rock bottom in Montreal in 1976 when we came back with zero medals. Then again, we won a bronze right. medal in Moscow 80. Only to go back to zero in Los Angeles 84. Zero in Seoul. Zero in Barcelona. Oh my god, 1992. It was, it's been shambles. And for the next three Olympics, Bikram, we won one medal each. Only finally winning in Beijing, our first ever gold medal by Abhinav Bendra, individual gold medal. And overall, we won three medals. It was amazing. We trebled our overall haul. And then in London, we doubled it to six. And then everybody thought this time we're going to win, make it double figures. And guess what? <sighs> like Virat Kohli, crash landing. And we won two medals. <laughs> Virat Kohli in always Rio. features. <laughs> Yes, yes, of course he'll feature unless he does something else, which you said he will never do. In Tokyo, by the way, last Olympics 2020, which happened in 2021, which is just the way it works, right? It's like everything is one year late, right? Like people say Olympics right. 2020, but it happened 2021. People say COVID-19, but it happened in 2020. It's like all this stuff is just one year delayed for some reason, right? Hopefully this podcast is not one year delayed. It's just one week delayed because I think the CWG finished a week ago. But we just woke up. We can't help it. We're just like that. We're Indians. We're lazy. Now in Tokyo, we won seven. The whole point of this podcast has become that can we actually finally cross the double figures? Number 10, the magic number. By the way, this is not, by the way, we are both realistic and we don't even rate India much. But I think there are enough people out there that, I feel that at least 20 medals in contention. Only when you have 20 medals in contention, then we can actually win 10, right? If Correct. we are in contention for 10 medals, then we're going to win 5, even less. But if we can contend for 20 medals, and that stage we can actually actually win 10 medals, I, I'm not even sure we're going to win any gold. But even if we win like 3 silvers and 7 bronze, at the end, 10, 10 medals will be a lot and it will change a lot of people's life and next time you never know. This is, I mean, at one time, China would not win anything. It wasn't long ago when China was not winning much. But now they're right, right up there, right? 
so we might we have a lot of people we might actually develop a culture of sport and i think this this uh, times of india sorry not times of india hindustan times times hindustan is very unhappy they like stop showing my newspaper <laughs> and calling it times of india <laughs> this rivalry so it has uh, the, all the medal hall that we had at cwc and all the people who missed out also shooting people were not there archery people were not there roman greco wrestling was not there um and also our superstar our very recent superstar neeraj chopra was in there because he got injured so some pakistani fellow when the won the gold medal not happy indian people not happy now bikram just please go through some of the things that might change at the olympics and do you think are you hopeful or this is again flash in the pan we're going to just bite the dust again or something magical going to happen and can we actually win 10 gold first of all say yes or no if you say yes if you say no that podcast is finished so you have to say <laughs> yes uh, if you say yes then actually tell us that you know discipline by discipline i'll actually jump in as well that where do you see these 10 medals coming from yeah i mean i have to say yes uh, that's the whole point of this podcast okay, i'm got and, save uh, the podcast <laughs> and i genuinely believe that uh, even though if we don't really make it to two figures but i think it will be it it will be the best performance we ever had at uh, olympics because i it just it just coming together everything is coming together uh, we have i i think this will be the first time where we'll be clear favorites in some of the disciplines uh i think uh, yeah i mean archery we have always been the favorites but some something happens when uh, our uh, archers go to the big stage and uh, that's the problem that has been the problem with our uh, sports person not just not just olympics even in cricket right we have played so many uh, knockout matches and we have lost even after being favorites so this has been a like a mental roadblock for all our sports persons uh whether it's whichever uh, you know uh, whichever sport you take so i think this will be the biggest yeah, challenge let's the get to the block. let's get to the cut to the chase and let's don't worry about the road bl- uh, that mental block because we can't control it but let's just see if we can have 20 options and discipline by you want to start with uh shooting archery because that i will club them together that's one thing yeah i think traditionally shooting uh, archer archery and uh, wrestling so these these are uh, our uh, old time uh, you know favorites or old time uh, we, we have been doing really well in these and then weight lifting don't forget about that uh, even in cwg we won a lot of uh, medals in weight lifting three gold three yeah. silver four bronze that's a lot yeah that's i a lot think of uh, if i if i'm not wrong we uh, won uh, all the i mean we won at least one medal in all the uh, Uh, i think all the uh, disciplines i if i'm not wrong maybe all the disciplines means in every in, sp- like, in yeah like in weight lifting there are different classes right so i think we oh, won okay, at least one okay that i i can't be certain but obviously they won 10 medals so that means they must have won yeah. pretty much everywhere something or the other so that will be possible so that yeah. that's so th- so i think these four uh, disciplines are uh, definitely the strongest for us but i think uh, now we'll have to add boxing as well because nikhat zareen who is mm-hmm. uh, you know who is like tell somebody uh, who doesn't know about her, what she did at commonwealth <laughs> how she de- destroyed everybody yeah so she is in the flyweight category which is you know i think uh, the lowest category weight wise and mm-hmm. uh, she just completely destroyed everyone and i think the uh, opponents one, are flying everywhere <laughs> and and uh, she won all the matches by nil uh, score like the opponent final, did final final or something five nil final 10 i think one was 10 nil so uh, i just like her confidence i just like her attitude uh, you know lot of uh, sports person when they win they say oh thank god thank this thank that but she just says you know i'm just there and throwing my punches that's all i want to do so i think th- that kind of confidence that kind of uh, attitude is required for a champion and i mean this t- two years are left that anything can happen he- she might pick up a injury but i think uh, i think boxing has been really coming up we we won a lot of uh, medals in boxing even though ireland and england were in the fray and uh, they are they have the boxing culture i think me uh, you yeah, were talking about and- it right United Kingdom has big boxing culture, and it was in England. England had yeah. massive boxing culture. So 
I mean, and a lo- lot of the English players were in the final. We beat English, the Irish. It was it was just been amazing, and yeah. how they could not stand up to, to scrutiny against Nikhat. She was just she was actually Mike Tyson right now. She was although she like fifty <laughs> kg category. I just realized she delivered gold in the fifty kg. But whatever it is, I mean, that this category hopefully does exist in Olympics, right? I mean, it it does. I checked. I checked. Yeah, it, checked. it does. It does. Okay, <laughs> she is gonna be there, and I think it's gonna be it's gonna be something. It's gonna be something. So we can expect yeah. some medal from her. So that's one medal there. What about like we'll have to push it forward. So like let's just say badminton because I think Saina is done. Saina is done for, for a right. le- medal level. But PV Sindhu obviously it was easy easy for her. But we have a lot of shuttlers by the way we're looking at. Even after that, we did not perform superbly well. We still won six medals, which including three golds here. And uh, this Kidambi guy. And and, and, and in CWG, and there is Mal- Malaysia is also there, who is the you know the strongest the uh, contingent. Yeah. So yes. I mean, it's not it's not a situation where you know there is no Chinese, there is no USA. So we just win uh, in that category. Here, the strongest team was present uh, in CWC. So yeah, there is good good chance. All right. Okay. Anyway, United States doesn't have like you know much weight in the badminton. Uh, right, right. Hockey, I don't know they'll win or not. I mean, they played very well until the final where they got Australia just showed them who they really are. Right. <laughs> I mean, seven nil. That right. that doesn't look good. Somehow, like they just we just never like it's very weird. Because actually, Australia find it difficult to beat a lot of teams. Then beat them like you know a two one, three two, something like that. Hmm. Extra time. But when it come against India. It's like it reminds me like olden times when they used to destroy Indian cricket, right? Whenever they will come right, against right. India, they will destroy them completely. It's like that. There's just seven nil in the final, and if you see the trajectory of Australia, how Australia was playing, how India is playing, the both of them were playing very well. Then seven nil. I mean, this is just like it's like terrible. So, but there is still. Op- I mean, the women's are there as well. So maybe we can expect one medal here and there. It's possible. I think yeah. It's not, it's not ruling out. No, definitely. I think so, uh, hockey. Are we, here, we should. Right? I mean, Argentina is going to come in. Maybe Belgium. But yeah, that's about right. it. Yeah, so I think yeah, uh, we did. Uh, I I expect hockey um, at least men's to win a medal, not a gold medal, but at least a medal. Uh, so that that's one, and then badminton you said, and don't forget table tennis because table tennis we did really well. Like the uh, uh, the guy Sharath Kamal, he he won three gold. Yeah, for whatever CWG. reason these idiots have not put it there, but yeah, they did very well in table tennis. We won a lot yeah, of medals. So I mean, the women singles and all performed terribly. I think they kind of right, lost right, the plot, right. but these guys did very well. Yeah, I mean that can happen. Uh, uh, women's were also uh, because they did really well. Monica Batra uh, did mm-hmm. really well last time, so there was a lot of expectation on her. But yeah, I think uh, things go can go wrong in these tournaments. But yeah, I mean definitely medal prospects there in table tennis as well. Uh, so yeah, at least three uh, we have gone so far. I think th- uh, from those three uh, disciplines, we should accept at least uh, expect at least sing uh, one medal from each discipline so yeah, far. Yeah, because realistically in boxing, I think it'll become very very difficult. But then Nikhal, somebody should perform, right? I mean, not getting right. one medal, we should be able to get one medal. If we get one here, I mean, two in badminton. I mean, that's not too much to like ask for, right? Two in badminton, right? And then wrestling. Did we talk about weightlifting already? I mean, we did like that. No. I mean, Mirabai is already. No, we haven't, right? So yeah, which one have we talked about? So badminton. Let's say two in badminton. So, Hockey is one. Boxing. Let's just say one. Let's be realistic about it because let's obviously, be, yeah. Come I was in. saying one. Yeah. Yeah, I was saying one anyway. One. So there's four we're looking at here. Then talk about boxing. Sorry, weightlifting and wrestling. Like we're already at four now, realistically. Yeah. So maybe one in one, definitely. two in shooting. Shooting. I haven't talked about that. Shooting, how much you want to put? One or two? Shooting, I again I'll put one because we have good prospects. But again, it's the same uh, problem with archery. We kind of fizzle out in the Olympics. So we there at five. Uh, we there at five, and we yeah, explain either Chopra will win five. something, right? So we there at six. <laughs> now you talk about wrestling and weightlifting. Yeah, wrestling and weightlifting. I think definitely two or three medals from uh, because last time uh, wrestling. Uh, uh yeah i mean uh, sakshi malik uh, won the bronze medal uh this time she won she? in commonwealth she won is she she won a gold medal here in commonwealth yeah i think so, in between she had a bit of a lull but now she's won again right right, right. 
so again same problem uh, she was not able to win a gold she was winning silver and uh, bronze medals in a lot of championships and uh, all mm. these kind of you know events but this is the first gold so i think that that will give her confidence and uh, can expect some at least one uh, medal from the women side and from men side oh my god uh, bajrang punia oh my god that guy that guy is fire so i am definitely expecting a medal from that guy so yeah he's so world champion two, right he i mean is, he wants to so, become world champion i mean that's what he's looking at because he's won this yeah. is this is uh, his second cwg gold as well correct correct and he was also like uh, nikhat zareen he was like completely destroying everyone so yeah can expect one from uh, men also at least because i think there are other prospects so where are we now 7 9 8 seven. i guess i don't know how many uh, we give seven, we give seven. two from wrestling or one two two two, two, two. so eight because we already after ca- yeah. counting neeraj we are six or so eight and oh, weightlifting yeah. eight so weightlifting uh, will be difficult uh, because there is chinese and the usa uh, they are the heavy weights but what about uh, mirabai chanu who won silver in the olympics she won she won so i am just saying that it will be difficult because obviously there's still two years to go and weightlifting is kind of a very demanding sport and injuries Correct. can happen so but yeah i mean i think uh, going by the performances this year from both men and uh, women uh we can expect at least one from either men or women so yeah that can count one from there as well all right just we're to almost be getting there we are at nine now <laughs> what are we going to get medals yeah. from now after this is cricket there <laughs> no Which cricket is nine. not there sadly i mean i mean we have to win something or the other what about athletics because in athletics we want a gold exactly. four silver and three because athletics is where we don't do anything right we just like no, i'm definitely this legend is somebody who came fourth milka <laughs> sir no definitely looking uh, looking forward to athletics uh, at least getting something from there because we really performed uh, like triple jump we won go- both gold and silver that's unheard of like never happened hmm. we never win anything we uh, won both of them like the first and second it's like kenya shit like kenya all the long distance running competition they were like first second third no one comes close as well and this time uh, uh, you know we even beat them not beat them but we like we came second we got the silver uh, so yeah i think a uh, good prospect in there plus i think gymnastics was not there i'm not i i just remembered about uh, gymnastic because we have uh, uh that girl uh, karmakar who, who was very fourth, like the last to last time right but yeah, she did not correct, perform correct, this correct. time right i don't know what happened this time this time yeah so injury or something happened so uh, yeah i mean if she makes a comeback and she is in form can expect something from there as well because she she was she was really close last time so yeah with gymnast is so like athletics. a really short life also right once you, correct, you can't correct. compete at such a highest level i think most people just get done by like 25 so let's see what that still a prospect so we're almost there and there about and this is we are actually being very stingy right we're not yeah we just yeah. like you know we're just considering the lowest amount of medals that we can win so we're like okay. touching the 10 mark i mean it will be something that we actually end up winning 10 medals i mean it will I mean double figures mean something right it means right. something we can pe- we have always won like 1 2 1 0 0 0 and we won 6 then we went back to 2 then we went up to 7 in tokyo This is it, man. This is this is that time. Never know, you know. By the time we are dead, we are dying. India might be like, you know, <laughs> finishing above China or something. That's some crazy shit must be happening. Most things, can, yeah. I mean, anything is possible. I mean, you can't rule it out. So I think, see, this uh, when people when because people don't really think about it, people don't really talk about it or don't read about it. But uh, whenever Olympics happen, it's kind of a prestige issue for these big countries. that's the reason mm. uh, you know they spend lot of lot and lot of money uh, on their uh, on their athletes i remember abhinav vindra when he won uh, he said that to bring a medal you have to spend he said some amount i don't remember the amount but it was a very uh, like huge amount like 2 crores or something like i even more than 2 crores i, I think it was more than exactly. that i think it's yeah. more than that so it was in some uh, i think dollars or something i don't remember but he said that so it's not it's just not good enough to be good at something there has to be lot of preparation there has to be lot of like what neeraj chopra did right he is training with uh, the german guy who held the world record in javelin before the rules changed and the, you know the sport changed 
Yeah, but the government so will you, invest in you if they feel something you you're getting somewhere, right? But the initial stage, right. you should show promise. And also, I don't agree with this thing that this does not hold true for everything, right? This holds mm-hmm. true for shooting because you have to have a shooting range. It just every time when you're practicing, it costs like every time thousands or thousands of rupees. It costs every single day, and the guns are expensive. Shooting range is expensive. All this stuff, but. we know that you know to become a cricket player to become a football player to become a runner to become like hockey player and all these don't things don't actually take so much money it just takes endurance it takes endless hard work forever forever right. because that's why kenyans win all this stuff that's why all these south americans will be better football players you just you just have to have the love for it right to for the game and if you have to jump high jump and all you just have to work hard you can just jump bloody anywhere right. there's like gandgi everywhere in india there's like soft sand everywhere you can just jump <laughs> but yeah with the shooting and archery it takes a different thing and boxing you just you just work hard and then eventually get into academy and then you just work your ass off because boxing rings are available in the world so for his discipline it holds true i think he in fact said that he is one of the rarest people who actually became poorer uh, after winning the medal <laughs> till because he just ended up spending so much money he actually lost a yeah, lot yeah. of money while before winning it because normally everybody then- gets richer these days right no but because there is lot of politics and i don't know about uh, the situation now because uh, all we hear is good things from the athletes that oh there is this new khel khelo india movement this has helped them a lot but the, the we have heard of such horror stories whenever our uh, olympic conti- uh, olympics contingent uh, used to go to foreign countries there will be there used to be lot of you know nepotism and all that and there will be lot of officials who will be uh you know not taking care of their athletes so there there was lot of red tape uh in in these associations and that is the reason why one of the reason i mean there is definitely other reasons that is a, one of the reasons why uh although uh, you know olympic association said that india should push for cricket to be included at least in the asian games or commonwealth i think it was played once um, in asian games i if i don't i mean before uh, before the this time uh, in com- commonwealth game i think yeah, it was played really once difficult to have cricket i mean they put the female cricket because nobody cares right and the men's cricket is just mm. there's just too much money involved and they just have too many things to play for money and exactly. they just not come there exactly. for nothing it's just not going to happen if they come there nobody will be interested we'll probably end up sending our fifth team which will probably have parthiv <laughs> patel as wicket keeper right and ajanki yeah or we will be bowling we will be bowling yeah we will be bowling will be pujara will be coming in like as a pinch hitter that's what we are looking at right hey, he he recently scored 22 runs in a over don't count him out dude pujara yeah i don't know who was bowling i mean this is probably fake news fake news donald trump is fake news so what is the verdict what is the final verdict we are reaching the 20th 20 minute mark we want to finish it here and can india win medals because last time as i said earlier in the beginning of the podcast This is hundred years after the last Olympics in Paris happened in nineteen twenty four. In twenty twenty four, hundred years later, India will be there. The last Olympics, we won zero medals, zero gold, zero silver, zero bronze. But this time, can we make it zero? And can we put add one next to it and make it ten <laughs> fucking medals for the first time in the history of Indians Olympic contingent? Hopefully, we really want not injuries to the most important people. Please, not Neeraj. Right. Neeraj. No, no, no! I'm just, I'm, I've just uh, like you know combined <laughs> both gold medals. Super. Neera Chopra. Okay, it has to be Chopra, yeah. right? It has to be Chopra. So Neera Chopra is there. P. V. Sindhu is there. I mean, this is it's difficult to see P. V. Sindhu getting injured because she doesn't get injured. But you know, no jinxing, no jinxing. Somebody will come in if we won one in uh, athletics. We can actually get there because till now we have actually won a gold in athletics. I really have to check. Where who the fucking person won athletics gold? <laughs> I have to double double check it, but some, we have actually won one Olympic gold medal in athletics. That is something. Good thing is we won three medals and one is gold and two are silver. That means we have never even won a bronze. So maybe we can actually win win something this time. It won't be the greatest surprise in the history of thing. We even won one in tennis, but I I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, tennis is not going to happen. And then resting, it's happening very recently. And shooting also, we won four all together. So it's not completely, you know, going out of the park. They're saying that we can actually win something. Exactly. But ten medals will be a difficult task. But once if we get going and we get some rhythm, get some confidence, we can do it. Who knows? We might win twelve or third. Uh, let's let's not talk too much. Eventually, end up winning three. <laughs> so that's that's going to be a bigger nightmare of the life. But 
the Olympics. You know, Olympics is like football, right? It's the toughest, right. toughest test ever. All the best of the best show up, and if you win, then dude, you are right there because we saw what Italy did in the um, Euro, right? Which had so many amazing teams, and they won the, and then they are not qualified for the next World Cup. They were not able to qualify for the previous <laughs> World Cup. So it's just a different, uh, you know, different cattle fish uh, altogether. So let's see if India can actually win ten. Both of us agree. I am also with you. I think India can win ten, and I think India should win ten. But the question is, will India win ten? We'll find out in 2024 in Paris. Don't worry, we'll be here. You know, this is not our podcast, and we come back in Paris. Don't worry, we're not that rich people. We'll be back very soon to bother you for more nonsense. Keep watching this. I'm in England. So I can Singh. go to Paris. See, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's already in England, and this guy is Vikram. <laughs> we'll see you next time. You take care. Have a good evening, and have a good fucking weekend. Enjoy it till you have it, because I'm not enjoying it. If you see my jersey, Manchester United four nil. <laughs> Brentford just recently promoted team relegation is our word. <laughs> in relegation relegation <laughs> I'm going to start medication before the relegation and I'll be on all the anti depressants I who want help please help me please help what do I do how do I erase my memory I just want to forget everything about united not remember anything and somehow wake up to be a manchester city fan or liverpool fan I don't know just just Because I'm not even even before the match, uh, I told you I'm just like I don't want to watch this match, but I'm just addicted to, you know, um, depressive things. And, I'm just masochistic. And you were like you were so pessimistic, and it became four nil. Four nil, yeah. <laughs> you were saying two nil uh, after four-nil, being and pessimistic, and it became like, became, it was four nil. <laughs> yeah, it's and the joke, match man. is finished now. It hasn't actually improved. I think it ended up four nil. I don't know if it ended up worse or not, but I last I checked, it was four nil. It is just yeah, it's four nil uh, ended. So in United came back in the second half. They said like you just block them, don't do anything, just block the fucking thing. It Fuck is, the bus. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, hopefully India can learn not from Manchester United and from Manchester City, Liverpool, Real Madrid, anybody, but Manchester United. So we'll Manchester see you next City. time with more sports <laughs> and other podcasts. Film we do film, we do sport, we do woke stuff as well. We're doing all the kind of stuff. We'll be back next time. Before I fall asleep in the podcast, because I really will find difficulty falling asleep after United. What United did, and tomorrow for the <laughs> next till next week starts, we will be hearing all the nonsense. How bad United is! It's just gonna be like a nightmare. It's gonna be a nightmare. Oh my God, Eric Ten Hag, he has no idea what he's gotten himself into. This is this is uh, this is not good. Like this, they this is terrible. say in Hindi, hug dia. <laughs> Eric yes, yes. This is Daldal. <laughs> you know, uh, he's just Daldal. He just um, uh, uh, he's, he's 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 in lot of trouble. I think we are in lot of trouble. This is this is slow death. And this is gonna be a slow death towards the end. Eric Ten Hag is not gonna age Ericsson. well. All right, we'll and, get and going. That guy will be thinking, why did I c- come to this Ericsson? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eric yeah, said he was thinking, I should have retired. Gold dust. I should have. Yeah. <laughs> I should have retired. Yeah, he should have retired. He was looking for gold dust. He did not. Um, he ended up dull dull. So that's just uh, that's what it is. All right, this podcast completely changes texture. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.